हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू रिफ्रेश कोडिंग माय नेम इज़ मधुलिका एंड वी वर वर्किंग विद इलास्टिक बीन स्टैक वन बाय डिफॉल्ट बकेट हैज़ बीन क्रिएटेड एंड दिस इज़ द बकेट इलास्टिक बीन स्टैक यू एस इज टू वन एंड सो 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 इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वेन यू आर डन विद द वर्किंग यू मस्ट डिलीट दिस बकेट अदरवाइज यू विल एंड अप पेइंग फॉर दिस सो द फर्स्ट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वॉट यू विल डू you if right now if you can open this bucket you will see all these files are here these are nothing but uh, your uh, you know files which you are dealing with in your bean stack like if you can see jar file which we were using and log files and all those files are there so if you can see this is what is your file which is maintained for your elastic bean stack all the information is there so the first thing what we need to do is we need to empty this bucket first otherwise you will not be able to delete it so empty it it will ask you uh, you are supposed to type it here permanently delete empty so it will take some time depending on you know what is the speed of your internet and it will empty the bucket so once your bucket is empty then you will try to delete it so we will try to delete it so when you will try to delete it will give you some warnings like deleting a bucket cannot be undone and all those things and here you will have to provide the bucket name and you will delete bucket but there you go there's a problem what it said you don't have permission to delete bucket elastic bean stack uh, us east one and all those things because by default it does not allow you to delete this bucket and this is a huge problem because if you will not delete this bucket and in this bucket will keep on storing files unnecessary you will end up paying to the to aws so then how to delete it so here what we will do now once again we will go back to the bucket here and here if you see there is uh, there are these tabs properties permissions metrics and all those so we will just quickly go to permissions and if you see there is a bucket policy and in this bucket policy there is a statement as you know effect deny and that is the reason you are not being able to delete the bucket if you can see action s3 delete bucket deny so what you need to do either you can just uh, uh, delete this entire delete deny statement or you can just simply delete this whole policy okay and delete it delete anyway we are going to delete this bucket so it doesn't matter if it has a policy or not you can edit it also and you can just simply remove the deny statement but sometimes that doesn't work so it's better you delete the whole policy after that you come back here and you say delete and once again you just give your bucket name delete bucket and there you go successfully deleted bucket your bucket is deleted now and if you go back to your uh, buckets in s3 there won't be any buckets if you can see create bucket and just go to buckets and no buckets right now so it is deleted so that's it in this video and the next video we will see how we can combine elastic bean stack with rds so thank you for watching if you like the video please like it please share and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much